Welcome on in, my little peaches. Today, today it's time for some more sim science. So if you've been here a while, you will know of some of my other sim experiments. Yes, I like to experiment on my sims, such as uh, some classics, like what happens when you lock all your sims in a house with the extreme violence mod? Who will be the final one standing? Or what is the fastest way to accidentally kill <gasps> one of your sims? Turns out, I think it's the Murphy bed. Or my personal favorite, what happens when you force the Grim Reaper to woo woo with you so you can produce Grim children? Also a lot of fun. But today might just be my most disturbing and most devious yet because today we are gonna be doing a patchy based experiment. Now, I have never played with patchy until I was streaming yesterday with you guys and we figured something out that I'm gonna try and replicate in this video today. And if I can get it to work again, there is a pretty amazing little thing you can do with patchy and I'm gonna be showing you guys in today's video. So in order for this experiment to work, if you guys want to do this at home, you will need one thing and that is MCC Command Center. It's an amazing mod. It lets you do a bunch of stuff with the game. So just continue your storylines, edit your sims, edit NPC outfits, edit basically everything. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. You've probably seen me play with this a bunch of times already and you're going to need that because we're going to have to use MCC on patchy in order to try and make this experiment work. So you're probably probably wondering why I have built this little lot here. It's because I'm gonna run two patchy based experiments. These are identical households and you can probably tell by the decor in the household where this video is going, where most of my videos go, let's face it. What is the experiment? The experiment is, can I force patchy to have a human form, but always go back into his patchy form at the end of each day. And can I force patchy to bear my children? That's where this always seems to go, but that is what we're doing today. Why is there two households? Because we're gonna work with original patchy as he appears in the game. And then we're gonna be working with my slightly tweaked patchy because I like changing my sims appearances a little bit. And why do I have two ravens in my household inventory? I basically needed a sim that I thought was, you know, just that patchy perfect level of weird that she would be so down to woo woo with Pachi. And I figured a witch who already has an evil twin and a firebird would probably be a pretty good sim for this. So witchy raven is gonna be our control subject. And the reason I needed two identical ones is so that we could check the children of each Pachi and see how they compare. It's what it always comes down to. It is what it always comes down to. So this might be a known thing in the Sims like uh, community already. I don't know because I'd literally never ever played with Pachi, not even once before until I was streaming yesterday and I just dipped into MCC with Apache for a bit of fun. We were never expecting him to get back onto his little scarecrow branch, but he did. So yeah, we are going to be attempting to recreate that and seeing what Pachi children look like. I actually also, you'll see when we see Pachi, I wanna see if he has the same appearance as he had in my stream of my vampire, uh, extreme vampire challenge, which is what I'm streaming currently, or whether his appearance changes each time. And obviously we wanna see what the children look like. I kind of at this point wanna do an entire video dedicated to these kind of like, you know, the supernatural sims that appear in game, such as Pachi, such as Grimm, such as the one from the festival. The like dress up one from the Japanese festival. Basically, we want to see what all of them look like under those outfits and which of the supernatural sims are secret hotties. I kind of want to do that video, I'm not even gonna lie. But in order to get Patchy to start coming off of his little branch, first of all, you've got to make friends with him. So I'm gonna be just basically spending today doing a bunch of interactions with Patchy because the way you get him to come off is to talk to him enough that he wants to be your friend. Now, the reason I'd never really played much with Patchy before is because whilst I've always done a little bit of casual gardening in The Sims, I've never done huge gardens where it's literally a full-time job weeding them and sorting them out every single day. So I'd never really had that much need for Patchy until now. But yeah, now that I've got a really like a huge amount of plants in my Extreme Vampire series. I'm kind of realizing that I need to help around the farm. And if you've never played with Patchy before, Patchy actually comes with Seasons. So he is like the new kind of character that comes along with Seasons. If you've never played with him before, he is fantastic for helping you out with your garden. I literally couldn't do it without him whilst having a full-time job. So although I've never played with him before, very much recommend him. And when you see his human form, you will see that there's an extra reason for that too. So we are gonna need some plants to help with if we 
we are gonna have Pachi work for us and help us out. So I'm gonna order some seeds. I didn't manage to get any out of his pocket, which he does do. He does give you free seeds, which is really cool. But we're gonna get these planted so that Pachi knows that he's gotta help us out with these two patches right here. Okay, so Pachi tends to come to life just after midday. So I'm gonna send them both for a little nap. So we give Patchy a chance to uh, come off his perch. Also, I feel like Patchy is flammable and we do have a scorching bird flying behind us. But hopefully that's not going to put him off. Okay, so it is, you know, he's only his first day. He might be a little bit too nervous to come off his perch just now. We might have to give him one more day. <gasps> what did he just do? Did he just drop off his perch? She just freaked out. Scarecrow shock. I'm also wondering if he only comes out if plants need watering, but the plants do need watering. I think it's just a little bit too early because we only arrived on the lot today. So I'm gonna go ahead and send my ravens into basically chirogenic sleep, if you're wondering how I'm doing this. It is UI cheats. Very useful if you're making videos like this because you can kind of control reality even more so than you can usually do as a sim god. And it basically means I can just make time move really fast so that we can aim to get to midday the next day. Okay, it's another day. Let's get our morning chit chats with uh, Patchy out the way to try and tempt him off his branch. Also, I'm sorry if anyone watching this has like a weird uh, scarecrow phobia. I can totally understand why because uh, I've watched one too many episodes of Supernatural, let's face it. And the good news is my garden is looking pretty weedy, so I feel like the patchies might wake up today. Okay, midday is approaching. Patchies, are you gonna assemble? You assemble little Apaches. Whenever I say that, I feel like I'm saying the helicopter, like an Apache. Hmm, no movement on this side. How about over here? Nothing yet, even though there is a garden here. You must be desperate. It must be just eating your life. I know it must be. You want to get up and sort this garden out, Patchy. I know you do. But nothing yet. Maybe they know I want to experiment on them. <gasps> okay, our first Patchy has arisen. It is the blue Patchy rather than the red Patchy that has arisen first. So this is actually a good thing because I want to do this one by one. Because I'm kind of feeling if I do both of them at the same time, it might cause some bugs in the game. So our Patchy is here. He is alive. We can go and have an introduction to him now. Raven number one is going to go introduce herself to blue Patchy. And he is now appearing on our friends list as just Patchy. And this is why I picked Raven for this because she's like... <laughs> I'm digging this. This whole get up with the tiny wrists and hips and straw legs and the obviously the big pumpkin heart. I'm into this. She is definitely, you know, digging what is putting out and you can romance Patchy, which is a good thing because we're going to be needing to do that. This Patchy, however, is staying very firmly on his uh on his branch for now. Okay, we flirted with Patchy because obviously that was a thing that needed to happen. Pachi is an unflirty sim though. Interesting. Okay, this is where I'm gonna drop a hot save. So Pachi wants to get to work, wants to go ahead and start gardening. However, Pachi, I'm gonna have to stop you there because I'm now gonna go into MCC and go to modify household in Cass. Now Pachi is a young adult and aging up is disabled for him. So he will always remain a young adult. And his name is also listed as just Pachi. But I can go ahead and modify him in Cass. Now, this is where I thought it would break things because when I've done this for grim before if i try and click a uh, tick right now it knows that patchy hasn't been given a name or a, a first name or a second name and it requires you to give him a name after which point of course with the grim that stopped him bringing the grim reaper and broke him forever i don't think that works with patchy though i think patchy will remain patchy even if you edit him in cast. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the iconic outfit. Now, once you take this outfit off, you can't reapply it. It doesn't appear here from what I can see. So once the outfit's gone, he now looks like a regular person. And honestly, I'm going to be keeping this patchy as he looks currently. The other patchy I will be giving some Clash of One style tweaks. But this patchy, I'm going to keep exactly how he looks now. I mean, I'm still going to CC him up, but I'm not going to edit his facial structure. Because I was kind of quite surprised to realize that, you know what? Honestly, patchy is not a bad looking guy. He is a pretty good looking sim. So I'm just going to throw on my usual beautiful concoction of skin details and with the brown eyes and that kind of roman style nose we mused on our stream that we liked the idea that it was canon that patchy 
has Italian heritage. <laughs> Even though I don't love assigning real world locations always to Sims. I've done it in the past and I don't know. I just kind of prefer them to say as like Sim places. So yeah, this is how uh, he looks with just a bit of CC on there. What I liked to do was give him back his hat. Or at least as close as I can get, which is this hat right here. And then some of the outfits from the new pack, which is Coach Living, actually work pretty well on Patchy. Like, this feels like a modern day Patchy, you know? And since we called him Blue Patchy, I'm going to give him the blue version. Red Patchy will get this version. And then we're going to call him literally Blue Patchy. So these traits here are randomly assigned because these are different to the traits that I got in my Extreme Vampires playthrough when I brought Patchy to life. So in this version, he is a master mixologist. He likes modern decor, black and cooking, dislikes alternative music. He is unflirty, childish, and is a child of the islands, but looks wise, he is the same. So the face doesn't seem to change. There seems to be a standard patchy face, even if the patchy personality changes each time. Okay, let's go ahead and click Tick. Usually this would break Grim. Let's see what it does on Patchy. So I changed his everyday look. What I can do with MCC is go to dresser, change him into this outfit, and then I can copy and paste this outfit and make sure that his hot weather outfit has the same look. So there we go. There is Patchy. He's working on Red Patchy's garden, which I'm a bit worried means that Red Patchy might not spawn, but all we're trying to do right now is see if he gets back on his stick at the end of the day. I'm also interested, do you still find him attractive? You do. Even without the outfit on, she still finds him attractive. It's not just about that big old pumpkin head for her, you know? So I'm gonna get these guys having a good old chat. He is a bit tense, but I'm gonna see if he'd like to cloud gaze and I wanna try and build a bit of romance with him. Unfortunately for Raven number two, her patchy still has a literal crow on it right now. It's not even doing a great job as a scarecrow. Never mind as a living, breathing scarecrow. And I feel a bit sorry for, for Raven Sue with her very, uh, very pumpkin-y looking patchy still. Whereas Raven 1 and Blue Patchy are here living their best life, honestly. So I'm gonna allow Raven number one and Patchy <laughs> to have their first kiss. I'm hoping it won't affect him getting back on his stick at the end of the day, his little tree. I need to stop saying get back on his stick, don't I? Get back on his little tree here, but we shall see. I think Patchy leaves when the sun sets or when all the gardening is done. I'm gonna go ahead and send her to sleep for now so that Patchy can go back home. And this is the true test. Is he heading back to get home? Or is he finishing off some gardening? Okay, I'll let him finish off his gardening. Now, when we were watching this on the stream, we were like, He's broken. He's not going back on his stick. That's a shame. It would be really cool if you could do this because there is a bunch of fun storylines you could do. The one we were saying in stream that would be quite fun, just because, you know me, I do love a bit of drama, is you could have a story with like two sims where they had like a sad, loveless marriage. Maybe the husband was never at home. He was always at work. And the wife was so lonely that she ended up spending all of her time talking to her scarecrow. And her scarecrow ended up came, coming to life and they fell in love. And then she has this secret love affair with the scarecrow because he only comes alive in the daytime when her husband is at work. Uh, <laughs> I just thought that would be kind of fun. It would be quite dramatic. And it reminded me as well of in Sims 3. You've got the imaginary friend in Sims 3, who if you spend enough time and do enough social interactions with the imaginary friend as a child, it will also turn into a real child. So I thought it could be kind of like a fun twist of that, but like a grown up version with a love story. Although I am pretty sure I made one of my Sims 3 children who had an imaginary friend end up marrying them when they got older. Okay, all the gardening is done. What is Patchy gonna do? <gasps> no way. You're taunting the other Patchy? Okay, now I'm worried that this Patchy will never come to life because he's literally been taunted by blue Patchy. Okay, Patchy is saying he's tired. But is he gonna get back on his tree? This is the bit I didn't think would work. But it totally does. So you can have Patchy fall in love with him. I mean, you can do that when he's regular Patchy anyway, but he's not gonna look like a human. But using this method, you can literally make him as a human that you see every day. You can edit his appearance and he will still go back to his little Patchy home. 
and no one will be any the wiser. The dramas you could have, literally. Because, you know, it's all well and fun doing this with Pachi when he looks like this, but it's kind of weird. I like the idea of him actually having a human form. Like, you've talked to him enough that you've given him life, you know? You've actually given him skin and bones. Okay, so it's 1 p.m. on another day. The same Pachi has awoken. Blue Pachi has awoken, but red Pachi is still staying very much on his stick. So I'm gonna awaken Raven number one because I wanna see what Patchy babies look like. I just gotta. Patchy says, I don't think I want kids at the moment, but we're not gonna give him that choice. In fact, at this point, we are officially dating, <laughs> but I think they've built it in so that you can't actually woo you, Patchy. Honestly, what are you even doing, game? Why would you not let me woo woo Patchy? Yeah, this is disgraceful. I can kiss him. I can date him, lie under the stars and talk about our lives together with flesh and blood and skin, but I cannot have a patchy baby. If you wanna make him have babies, unfortunately, it seems to stop him from being patchy. Can I instead though? Like if I go on him, there's not even a MCC pregnancy menu. I'm wondering if I can do it this way. Can I go to pregnancy? Uh, pregnancy start? He's not even listed on here. So this is where it breaks down. You can have a whole romance with Patchy, but from what I can tell, there doesn't seem to be a way to make Patchy produce children. Even though he's set to get others pregnant. Now, I think I had this exact same issue with Grimm, and here's what I did to get around it. So, unfortunately, from what I can tell, there is no way for me to have Babala Rose with Patchy without, like, literally adding him to the household which is frustrating. It does break the dream down at that point, but maybe you can have like a solid love affair until you want to have babies and then you will have to add into the household. Now, there is no friendly option to add to household. So we're going to have to do this using cheats again. I can press shift and left hand click and then add to family. So Patchy now appears on my family right here. However, I am very sure that means he's never gonna go back on his tree. Oh my gosh, I still can't woo woo him. I will make this work. I'm having Patchy babies. You're not taking this away from me. I've added him to the household. I am gonna go to, he's now aging by the way. He now has no out of 20 and I can get him pregnant. I can start an alien pregnancy with him, but I cannot use him as a pregnancy candidate for my sim. I also can't go to a bed and select woo woo. Oh, I can. Oh my gosh, it's opened up. That wasn't there a second ago, but it's happening. I think I can now woo woo. Oh, it never selects. Look, look, check this out. Oh, I'm gonna have to get creative in order to make babies with these two, aren't I? I'm gonna see if going to manage worlds and back again, like, unlocks it. Hmm. <laughs> I will make this happen. It's gonna happen. How did I do it with Grim? I think I typed in the cheat instead. Now we're going full Matrix because I'm gonna get the sim ID. Hmm, I can't use this to set it. Okay. I can't use it to go with Blue Patchy. <gasps> I have one more plan. Okay, I have one last thing that I think I can try because I don't want to do it in cast. I feel like that's kind of like, you could do it that way, but I'm going to try using, you have my heart. I'm going to try using the Woo Woo Wellness mod to go for an alternative pregnancy and see if we can do artificial insemination with Patchy. That is a phrase I never thought I would say. Blue is totally on board. All right, let's look into it. Great. Okay, so I'm going to attempt an artificial insemination. If Blue Patchy isn't here, we riot. Oh my gosh, he's not there. Why are you so unwoobable? Patchy, what the hell? And how weird is it that, look, I can click it, but it doesn't do anything. I can't woo woo. So I checked back what I did with Grim. I'm with Grim, I could woo woo. The rage I'm feeling right now is intense. He's like some kind of special, unwoo-wooable being. He's like some existence that I can't woo-woo with. But he just loves gardening. Let me see if we can do it in something non-beddish. What about in a shower? Maybe Patchy's just really clean. <gasps> Wait, is this actually gonna happen? Is it just that beds freak him out because he's been on a stick this- a tree? He's been on a tree this whole time? Is that all that this was? Wait, are you guys actually gonna- <gasps> Okay, I have at least got them woo woo in. This is huge. This is such a huge step that I did not think would actually happen. But it has. Okay, we've at least got the woo woo action in. And you can woo woo with Patchy. You just gotta do it in a shower. You just can't do it in a bed. 
It's got to be in a shower. But the sad news is I've used MCC to switch Risky Woo Woo up to 100%. So every time they woo woo, it should be resulting in a baby. However, it is just not happening. I think even if you turn Pachi into a man, one, he always has to be the instigator. You can never choose to woo-woo. But two, I just don't think my man has the ability to inseminate, I'm afraid. I don't think you can make babies in-game with him. If any of you guys figure out a way to do this, please let me know. But I have 100% risky pregnancy on and I can't get Pachi to produce any children. So he's also now sleeping in a bed. He's not sleeping on his stick, which means this is now kind of completely pointless. He's no longer using it. So being a witch, I am obviously just going to burn it to the ground. So that Pachi never again will get on his uh, tree. And so that red Pachi may reign supreme. So there we go. Just going to casually burn this to the ground. There you go, Pachi. You can never go back to this, this tree ever again. And then I'm gonna see if I can make children with him in cats. I know I said it was cheating, but I'm all out of options. So let's play with the genetics. And let's go ahead and make a child with, oh, I could do it in this. I can do it with this, but I can't do it in game. How mad is that? Okay, so what does a patchy child look like? Let's go from child and let's do a bit of randomizing. Okay, I'm getting quite a little, quite a lot of similarly looking children now. So I'm assuming this is how a patchy baby looks. So let's go ahead and age you into a child. Your hair is looking kind of wild right now. In fact, why is your hair looking like that? It's like you're wearing two hairs. Okay, there we go. So, patchy child. And then patchy teen. What is a patchy teen looking like? Oh, oh, patchy's... Is patchy tall? No, Raven's just really small. Here we go. Here is what a patchy child looks like. And I actually think this is correct because those are patchy eyes. This is a very patchy child. And then a patchy female child. Starts off looking like this. Into... <laughs> what is going on right here? Into this, and then finally into this. A patchy girl. I actually think, you know what? Other than the lack of chin, which all of my sims uh, seem to struggle with, when I make them in, when I just make children, they never have chins, basically. I think a patchy kid, genuinely, not that bad. I am gonna keep this little girl in the family just so we can use her as reference. Okay, here is how Blue Patchy's kid looks. Actually a super cute kid. Look at that. And you can see that like, she's gonna have the little patchy nose and everything. Now, I wanna see if the other patchy will come to life. And I'm gonna tweak the appearance for a little bit of a Claire Chivon makeover. So do you actually appear on the family tree if you do things that way? You do. So that is the only way to force a child. You have to go into cast. Unless anyone else figures out a way, that is the only way I figured out how to do it. Okay, so it's another day. The garden is looking very sad. Patchy. We need you. We need you to wake up so we can check the appearance and tweak it and see what tweaked patchy babies look like. Okay, it's midday. Will he wake up or will having two patches on the lot means that one will only ever waken? Or did he see us burn the other one to the ground and he's like... Maybe I, maybe I don't. Maybe this is not a good idea. Maybe this is not a safe place for patches. Almost 1 p.m. Nothing so far. <gasps> yes, it did it. We've got ourselves another patchy. And this time, it's a red pa- Oh, this must be confusing for him. He's like, no, don't spawn. I'm the only patchy. I reign supreme. You're not allowed. And he's like, well, who's the real patchy now? I wonder if this patchy can procreate. Oh, this is weird. This is really weird. Okay, let's go into cast and check out Red Patchy. So let's go ahead and take off that iconic outfit. And yeah, it's the exact same face again, but again, different traits. This one wants to be a galactic privateer. He is evil, a green fiend and a glutton. Quite a different patchy. Okay, I am gonna do a few appearance uh, tweaks on him to get him looking the way that I prefer my Sims to look. Okay, so this is kind of my version <laughs> of Pachi. I really wanted the scars on his face to show through a lot, but because of my skin overlays, you can't really see them. But I kind of figured like Pachi, he's meant to be sewn together. So he should have like scars of like, 
Or not scars, his face just l should look like it's stitched. That is my personal opinion. Uh, you guys saw all the tweaks I did on his face and stuff. I just basically have a way that I like to make male sims. And I know my style tends to be the same each time. I don't care. This is how I like them looking. Okay, I also added these veins. I was trying to find like more patchwork. I couldn't. So I just added those instead and I added some freckles to his face. You can, it could be freckles or it could be like flecks of dirt from him working in the garden. That's how I picture Patchy. This is my game's version of Patchy. Let me know what you guys think. I basically made his eyes smaller, his eyebrows lower, his nose bigger, his lips bigger, his jaw longer, his eyes further. I did quite a lot. I did quite a lot to him. Uh, let me know if you would like red Patchy on the gallery. And oh, side by hi. side, that is, oh, I forgot his heart, but this is in-game Patchy with a few like just little additions and oh wow, this one's a flirty Patchy. This is my Patchy. My sims have a look, I can't help, but it's just how I am. And Raven finds my Patchy very attractive. I don't know why it's different, but it is. But annoyingly, we can woo-woo and shower, but it seems- Oh, you can't woo-woo and shower without adding to family. That's good to know. So if you wanted just casual woo-woos with Patchy, secret woo-woos, if you want to do it that way, then- Oh my gosh, this Patchy's a bit more aggressive as well. You can do that. You can do woo-woos and shower. You just can't woo-woo in the bed for some reason. I don't know why. You can't woo-woo Patchy in a bed. It has to be- in a shower or potentially other woo-woo objects. And also, unfortunately, I mean, he's still a tree patchy right now. Even with 100% risky woo-woos on, I am pretty sure, we, yeah, we still can't get pregnant by patchy. Even cool, attractive, evil patchy. No babies are allowed. So once again, the only way I think I'm going to be able to see what his kids look like is... I would have to add him to the household. Before we do, I just want to try something. <laughs> this might be evil, but what happens to Patchy if you set his tree on fire when he's not on it? Will he set on fire too? I'm not sure. So look, his tree is now on fire. He's not on it. And he doesn't burst into flame or anything. He does panic and run. And he finds the whole thing quite hilarious, probably because he's evil. But you can't return to your tree now. So what will you do? <gasps> He just turned around and disappeared. Where did he go? He's just disappeared completely. I'm trying to summon him with MCC because I can't call him to come back over. And he's back. Okay, so if you set Patchy's tree on fire, if you have MCC, you can still summon him. Otherwise, he will be gone forever. The interesting thing is if your jealous spouse does burn the tree down to stop you speaking with Patchy, you can use MCC to keep summoning him back. And it looks so funny when they kiss him in this form. Anyway, I am gonna go ahead and add him to the family so we can see what his babies look like. At this point, this is kind of what we do. We just experiment with genetics. And let's play with your genetics, Raven 2. You're the lucky Raven, because you get Red Patchy. And Red Patchy reigns supreme. But do his children. Okay, so this is, ooh, he already looks evil. I love it. This is his child as a toddler. Here we go to child, also a spellcaster. And then teen form. Oh my gosh, that is some scary CC right there. This is how they look in teen form. They've got, again, the beautiful long jawline I created has most definitely shrunk. How about if I play with genetics? Oh my gosh, w what? I almost feel like if you play with genetics, it stops playing with Patchy's genes. Like none of these look like Patchy's children. I look at that. I feel like you can't play with genetics with Patchy other than the very first child you create. Cause like none of these have any of the same genes. Patchy somehow doesn't have like logged genetics, which is really interesting. So I'm gonna go very back to our first sim cause I feel like that was the only one that was actually his child. And since we did a girl last time, let's do a girl again. So child girl, interesting hair, versus child, uh, sorry, toddler versus child versus teen girl. That's an interesting looking sim right there. And other than the distinct lack of chin, which may be a raven thing because my Villarreals definitely suffer with a lack of chin. This is how I've got at least the teen version of the patchy child. So yeah, that's how she's looking. I think she looks quite cool. She's uh, more so from the front profile, I would say. She's got very mean eyebrows, which I'm kind of Digging. Versus blue patchy child who has like much softer, much, much softer features. This just shows the way that I design characters will always result in really angry eyebrows, big lips and tiny chins. I can't help it. It's just, 
It's just the curse of all of my sims. So there you go. That is how to add Pachi as a human romance option to your game. So yeah, that is how you have a house of Pachis. You use MCC in order to be able to go into cast and edit their appearance. And then you can also use MCC to add them to the household to generate a child. You will be able to woo-woo them if you get a shower, but you won't be able to force them to create children. At least I couldn't. But if you guys know any ways, uh, any suggestions, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think of our sim science today let me know what you think about patchy's human appearance whether you like the standard appearance or the tweaked appearance that i did at the end there and i will see you guys in another video thank you so much for watching bye